Hello everyone. Before we start this video, a message from Energy of Rebirth about the recent fundraiser. Hi everybody, my name is Oksana Rianowski. I'm the volunteer who is helping to charitable foundation Rebirth Energy. I want to thank subreddit Ari Crane and YouTube channel Sukomimos and all of his viewers for all of these goods. Our last fundraising was only for these three drones. But with your high and extremely generosity, we were able to close three urgent requests. It's these three drones two Starlings and these two portable power banks Bandera Power 225S for 57 separate motorized infinity brigade in Bakhmut. Thank you and Slava Ukraine. So thanks to everybody who donated, I appreciate it a lot. Now we don't have too much information yet, but we have some word that Ukraine has launched a small scale counter offensive in Bakhmut, the city shown here on Deep States' map. As you can see on Deep States, the situation, the city is almost entirely under Russian control, with Ukraine holding on to the westernmost part. So what do we know about the counter-offensive here? Well, I'll play a clip from the Azov Battalion's commander, who covers it, discusses what has happened, and I will voice over the translation. As a result of the active assault actions of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the Bakhmut area, Units of the 72nd Brigade of the Russian Federation were defeated. In fact, the 6th and 8th companies of this brigade were completely destroyed. The brigade intelligence was broken, a significant number of IFVs were destroyed, and a significant number of prisoners were captured. The so-called 3rd Assault Unit of Wagner PNK suffered heavy losses. Offensive actions were conducted in a strip 3 km wide and 2.6 km deep. The entire territory is completely freed from the Russian occupation forces. Now I'm not going to show the exact location, but it did occur south of the city, vaguely in this blue boxed area. Now we don't just have Ukraine's word for it, we also have statements from Prigozhin of Wagner confirming the retreat. Unfortunately, I had to make the video silent because of background music, which bizarrely was added to it, which I think would get me a copyright hit but there are subtitles and also included some clips of retreat. So I'll play it now. We have just taken a trip to the positions and saw what is happening. Our army is running. It's running because the 72nd Brigade totally messed up around 3 square kilometers where I lost 500 people. I'm opening the combat chat. Messages are pouring. Fake. Torch PMC is not coming. Ukrainians will come to Rostov if the front line collapses. The world will be lost. Happy holiday, 9 May everyone. So pretty interesting. Now, I've edited this video as it shows some heavy combat. This is definitely an area we're going to have to keep an eye on. Whether this is a small scale pushback, a prelude to a larger offensive in this area, even a collapse of Russian forces in this region. We don't have the details to know for sure right now, but we're going to have to definitely keep an eye on it and it's very interesting news. So I hope you found this video interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.